it, it's not looking that good for me right now. Hey babe, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ayana and you want to go ahead, press that subscribe button and that notification bell next to it so you will not miss NT videos from me. All right, so let's go ahead and get into today's video. I heard y'all loud and clear, okay? I am back with another hair review. Today, I will be trying out bread. I'm putting bread in my hair. Bread Beauty Hair Care. So they sent me over some products and I always wanted to try their products out. I tried their hair cream about two years ago. I don't really remember if I liked it that much or not, but they sent it over to me again. So we're gonna be trying out everything in this video. So we're gonna be starting off with the hair wash. Number one, I've never had a shampoo in this little pouch situation. This is the Hair Wash Gentle Milky Hair Cleanser for all curl types, okay? Okay. I'm excited so let's go ahead and head over to the sink to try this out all right so this hair wash is actually in a 8.4 fluent ounce little pouch which is $20 and they also have a 3.3 pouch which is $12 now this product says it is a perfect hybrid between shampoo and a cold wash it also states that it's supposed to have you know a light foaming action as well i honestly did not see any foaming going on this literally just felt like a cold wash i've done cold washes before way 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 back i don't do them anymore but this honestly just felt like a cold wash. I was a little confused as well. Because I'm like, it said it's supposed to be foaming up. So is this a shampoo? So I was just like, I just used it the first wash. And after that, I rinsed it out. Because I could not figure out where I was applying it to my head. And where I haven't cleaned that. And I really wanted my hair to be clean. So I ended up switching to a regular shampoo. So I honestly feel like this was more on the cold wash side and I am not a cold wash girly, okay? I got thick type 4 hair. I need my scalp and hair to be clean. So I just used it the one time. It did not strip my hair. Um, so it was, you know, decent, but I just feel like it was not something for me. So I am done shampooing. I was trying to use the the milky gentle shampoo but y'all i could not do it y'all know how i am when it comes to lather i was not expecting that to have like no lather at all so i couldn't do it now i want to say that it's not a terrible product it's just not a product for me like i said i like lather and my shampoo it just helps me figure out where the shampoo or the cleanser is at in my hair since that did not have any lather i just felt like i was putting it on but i just felt like i was missing areas so i just feel like my hair wasn't getting as clean as i would like not saying that's not cleaning my hair but i'm just saying i just i, I just use the lather aspect to help me you know determine where i've cleaned that already on my scalp like i said just wanted to put a disclaimer it's not a terrible product it's just not one for me all right, so let's move on to the conditioning portion. Red actually sent me over the Baby Soft Detangling Conditioner, y'all. Y'all know I'm very picky with conditioners, and this talking about Baby Soft Detangling, so we gonna find out. Based off the instructions, it's basically telling me I need to let this sit before I feel the softness happening, okay? So thank you for the heads up. Ooh, this is a little thick. Let me um not judge yet because Brad said don't judge me yet. But I'm going to go ahead and apply a generous amount on the whole section and then split this section in half. I'm going to give it grace so it can work its softness magic, okay? As far as right now, I'm scared. I'm going to drench this section in water and apply it to the hair. Mm, I don't know if I'm feeling this conditioner like that. Let me go in with my detangling brush. Oh, no. 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 I need y'all brands to be adding slip in y'all conditioner, okay? PSA, this has no slip in here. You're supposed to be a detangling conditioner. Girl, do I feel like going through this today? 
I'm going to try to apply this conditioner all over my head for the sake of this review, okay? So this Baby Soft Detangling Conditioner is $24 and it comes in a 10.4 fluent ounce bottle. Y'all, I was not liking this at all. I was actually very disappointed because of the name and I'm thinking, you know, I had, you know, something in my head, I was gonna be easy breezy detangling session, but no, it was not. And it also says you need to apply to wet hair. So that is why I had my spray bottle on hand to make sure my hair was wet. So my hair was wet while I was applying this product, but I just didn't feel no softness. There was definitely no slip in here. I did not feel no slip. This is on the thicker side of a conditioner. So I was a very, very nervous when I put it on, but yeah, I did not have a good experience with this product. On the site, it says that this conditioner was designed to prime strands for seamless detangling in high shine and velvet softness. I like, when I went through my whole head, I let it sit through my whole head. I ain't feel no softness. So it's a no for me. I think I'm gonna be done using this conditioner. I'm gonna apply it to half of my head cause y'all, <laughs> this don't have no slip. I don't feel any softness going on either. And I'm ready to be done with, <laughs> with trying to finger detangle my hair cause I'm not using the brush because I'm not trying to rip my hair off. So I'm just gonna apply it to this last section on this side. And I'm about to go get a different conditioner so I can be done. <laughs> And like I mentioned, I stopped using my detangling brush after the back section because I'm just like, this don't have no slip and I don't want to be breaking off my hair. But I did move on to using my Ozzy Moist 3 Minute Miracle Conditioner because I could not use that Baby Soft Conditioner all over my head because it was already taking me a long time because I was using my fingers to do finger detangling on that side. So I went on to use my Ozzy Moist Conditioner, as y'all can see easy to go through x y and z so i put that on the other side of my head and then i head it over to the sink to rinse everything out honestly my hair it literally is on the side where the baby soft conditioner was it just didn't feel soft to me it didn't feel like i had anything in my hair so i was very disappointed with that conditioner like i really was thinking it was about to be bomb.com all right y'all so i am back from rinsing out my conditioner, Ozzy Moist had to save the day because I couldn't do it. But to be fair and give a fair review, I'm gonna unravel one of the twists that had the Baby Soft Detangling Conditioner. It's okay. Even when I was rinsing the conditioners out, it just felt a lot softer and a lot smoother on the Aussie Moist side. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a deep conditioner. I've seen on a site that they do have a deep conditioner, but they did not send that to me. So I'm gonna be using the Pattern Beauty Treatment Mask today. I haven't used it in a long time, so I'm gonna be using that today to put on my hair. I'm gonna put that on, let that sit for a little bit, rinse it out, and then I'll be back to style my hair with the rest of the bread. So far, we tried two products and, you know, it, it's not looking that good for me right now. Alrighty y'all, so I am back and ready to use these styling products. So they actually sent me three styling products. They sent me a hair foam mousse, the hair cream, and the hair gel. But today I'm just gonna be using the hair cream and the hair foam. I'm first gonna go in with the hair cream. This is a hair cream elastic bounce leave in. I'm gonna apply a little bit more to my ends. But off of first impressions, putting the hair cream on. It's not extremely hydrating and moisturizing. And this says it does have a soft hold. So I am gonna follow up with this hair cream using the hair foam. A soft touch cloud for strong hold curls. I'm gonna follow up with the hair foam on top of the curl cream, just to give me a little bit of extra hold since the curl cream states that it does not have a strong hold. I've never applied a foaming mousse on top of, of a curl cream or anything like that. Generous amount of that onto this section and I'm gonna go ahead and twist her up. Since this is supposed to be considered a leave-in as well as a curl defining cream, so I just wish it had, you know, a little bit more hydration, moisture, softness to it. So the hair cream leave-in curl cream is in a 8.4 ounce jar and it is $28 and the hair foam curling mousse is $26 and that comes in a 6.7 fluent ounce pump. Like I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, I've tried the hair cream before but I don't remember if I liked it like that or not and 
I honestly wasn't feeling it like that. It's okay. But on the website, it says it is a two-in-one leave-in conditioning and repairing curl cream that gives your curls a semi-defined soft hold. And it also states that you need to apply this on wet to damp hair. So I did have my spray bottle on hand. And then after the hair cream, I followed up on top of that with the hair mousse. Now it does say on the site that you can use the hair cream and the hair mousse together. I was kind of feeling like I was just mixing these products together and it just didn't feel like my hair was as moisturized as I would like it to be. It also started feeling like I was just applying water to my hair when I put both of them on my hair. All right, y'all. So I am done twisting up my whole entire head using the hair cream and the hair foam. I'm nervous. I really hope my hair is moisturized when I get ready to take these down. This was an interesting wash day, okay? I'll see y'all in a couple of days. All right, so I went ahead and let my hair air dry. I did not sit under the hooded dryer. I did not use no blow dryer. I just wanted it to air dry. And it took me, you know, the usual days. Y'all know it takes a long time for my hair to dry. So it took about two days for it to fully dry. But once it was dry, I took all of my flexi rods down. And then I also started to unravel the twist. My hair felt decent, but it was not the most moisturized I know my hair can be. I was actually quite surprised that it did feel like it was decent because i was so scared that my hair was going to be dry i was scared okay so i went ahead took down all of my hair and then i followed up with their hair oil their hair oil is 24 dollars and it comes in a 3.3 ounce fluent jar bottle whatever you want to call it i actually just put this on top of my hair now this oil contains about six oils i see there's soybean oil in here castor oil sunflower oil sweet almond oil etc but i honestly feel like i would like this more when i use the loc method because this is on the more oily side all right y'all so i am completely done taking down my whole entire head this is the final look for the hairstyle so let's jump into my final recap so this was a very interesting wash day a wash day that i have not dealt with in a long little while all right so let's start off with the hair wash the gentle milky hair cleanser now me personally y'all know i love a good lather i know lather does not mean anything because it is a personal preference i personally like cleansers that lather up a little bit because i have such thick hair that it helps me indicate where i've put the cleanser at you know making sure i've cleaned my whole scalp cleaned all my hair x y and z I feel like this is not a product that I personally would be reaching for, number one, because it does not have a lather, and number two, I couldn't figure out where I was applying it. Now, granted, I could probably wash my hair in sections like I used to, but honestly, it kind of reminds me of a cold wash. I honestly would not be using this again. I feel like this is not a product that I personally would use. Now, let's move on to the conditioner, okay? Y'all know I am very picky when it comes to conditioners because when I use a conditioner, I am mainly using it to help me detangle my hair. Y'all, the Baby Soft Detangling Conditioner, I am quite sad that this is called Baby Soft Detangling Conditioner. I didn't feel any type of softness going on. And number two, the tangling was a nightmare. The tangling was a nightmare, y'all. I have not had a, I have not felt like that in a while. I honestly did not like this conditioner at all. Listen, yesterday, wa watch that yesterday. I ain't had the patience, okay? I ain't had the patience to try and sit there and use this conditioner and detangle with it all over my head. So that's why I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just do half of my head and we gonna call it a day. Cause I went ahead and used my Ozzy Moist three minute miracle conditioner, slapped it on and y'all could see that I was able to brush my hair very, very easily. I am actually quite disappointed with this conditioner. Like the name of the conditioner, Baby Soft Detangling Conditioner, when I hear that, I'm thinking my hair about to be soft as a cloud. The tangles just gonna melt through, like melt through my hair. Like that is what I was expecting, but then what happened? Now this collection does have a deep conditioner, but they did not send me the deep conditioner. So I went ahead and used the Pattern Beauty treatment mask on my hair. And then we skipped to the styling portion. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, they have about three stylers. They have the hair cream, the hair foam, and the hair gel. I just used the hair cream and the hair foam. This is the hair cream elastic bounce leave-in. Um, 
it's okay. Now, would this be the first hair cream I pick up out of my whole entire hair collection? No, because I've tried other hair creams where they are super moisturizing on my hair. So it's okay. You know, it's a eh, kind of feeling. Um, as of right now, my hair feels decent, actually. I'm, I was actually surprised. I, I literally was like, girl, my hair gonna be dry. When I get ready to take it down, I'm shaking because my hair gonna be dry. So I'm actually quite surprised that my hair feels pretty decent for you know letting it air dry for about two days. So I'm actually quite surprised. After the hair cream, I put in the hair foam. I personally might retry this out on like already styled hair. So if I want to retwist up this twist out, I would probably just use this foaming mousse just to see exactly how it performs on its own. Because my favorite foaming mousse, y'all, like I don't care. My favorite foaming mousse is the pattern curl mousse. I love that foaming mousse so much. I love the hold on that mud. Like that is my favorite foaming mousse, hair mousse, whatever you want to call it. So I can't really fully critique it. My hair does have, you know, a good amount of definition. I feel like it has a decent hold in my opinion, but far as this product by itself, I wanna retry it just to see how it holds up. Then after I took my twist down, I went ahead and cracked open this hair oil. I was actually surprised that it was actually an oily hair oil. Nowadays, there is a lot of hair oils out here that don't have that greasy feeling. Now me personally, I don't really, you know, I'm not too finicky about if the hair oil make my hair feel oily, cause it is an oil. But like I said, there are oils out here nowadays that literally don't even feel oily. So this is on the oily side. I should have tried it when I was using the hair cream, but you know, I wanted to see what all that was about. I probably will use this once I'm done putting in a leave-in conditioner, like the LOC method. I probably will use it in that aspect because I do like oils that have like a little bit of oily, you know, to it. So I do like oils like that, but yeah, this is just a hair oil. I don't really have, you know, too much critique about it because it is just a hair oil. Let me know your experience using bread if you've used it before. I honestly feel like me personally, eh, it, I just feel like it's not for my hair. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share. Sharing is caring. So you want to go ahead and do that. Don't forget you're beautiful, you're strong, you're the best music. And I will see you guys in my next one.